Hi, my name is Noah Reynolds, and today I'm going to be talking about phase changes. So the first phase change we're going to be talking about today is a solid going to a liquid. So, I have an ice cube, and here are its particles. They're pretty compact together, with very little room to move. Ice is frozen, so that means it doesn't move. Now, as the ice begins to melt, it will turn into water. So here, again, we have a cup of water. And to make this freeze, it would have to be kept at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, here are the particles of a liquid. They're very, not they're not so close together, and they have more room to move, and they move faster. So once the ice melts, it turns into water. And these are what the water particles look like. They're more free to move around, because water is a liquid, which means like you can like move it around the particles are farther apart so they move they can move faster and move around more next i will be talking about how to change a liquid into a gas so a liquid changing to a gas so the water is in a pot and if we add heat to the pot the water would start evaporating. So, because the water is evaporating, there is less and less water until it evaporates all the water and there is no water left. So after we boiled the water, it all evaporated and all the particles went out into the air. So we have already talked about three phase changes. And then a solid going to a liquid and a liquid going to a gas. So that's actually only two phase changes. But the next phase change we're going to talk about is going to a gas to a liquid. So say here we just boiled a, a lot of water but we had a top on it, on the, on the, on the pot. So all the water particles, I mean all the particles, are just up at the top of the lid. Then that would be the gas turning back into the liquid.